Welcome to the Best Employee Podcast. This podcast is a great resource for anyone looking to improve their work skills. This episode is titled, Finding Motivation to Work. In this episode, we're going to highlight finding motivation to work, understanding what motivates you, your ideal work environment, and what makes you happy. Let's get started. Finding motivation to work. It can be difficult to find the motivation to work, especially when the task at hand is uninteresting or challenging. One way to overcome this obstacle is to develop a clear understanding of why the task is important. Once the importance of the task is established, it can be easier to set aside personal feelings and focus on completing the task. Every employee will face a lack of motivation at some point during their career. It's important to find ways to re-engage with your work in order to be productive. One way to find motivation is to connect your work to your personal values. What is the purpose of the task you're working on? How does it help contribute to the company's goals? By identifying the meaning behind your work, you can remind yourself of why it's important. Additionally, try setting small goals for yourself and taking breaks after completing them. This will help you break up a large project into manageable pieces and provide a sense of accomplishment as you complete each task. And finally, stay positive and avoid comparisons with others. Everyone has different productivity levels and works at a different pace. As long as you're doing your best, that's all that matters. Here's some helpful tips. Take breaks throughout the day. Reward yourself for completing tasks. Find a work buddy. Connect with your purpose. Stay organized. And make time for yourself. After a commercial break, we'll be highlighting Understand what motivates you. Starbucks Coffee Company is the leading retailer, roaster, and brand of specialty coffee in the world. Starbucks sells drip brewed coffee, espresso based hot drinks, and other hot cold drinks, snacks, and items such as mugs and tumblers through customer operated stores. Today you can find Starbucks Coffee at a grocery store near you or enjoy one of their many signature drinks in their many comfortable cafes. Starbucks is proud to serve their customers delicious coffee that's roasted with precision. Starbucks' goal is to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. Starbucks Coffee. Visit one near you. Welcome back. Understand what motivates you. Everyone has different things that motivates them. Fingering out what motivates you is an essential step in setting and achieving your goals. When it comes to motivation, there is no one-size-fits-all approach. What works for one person may not work for another. For some person, it's the desire to achieve a certain goal, such as losing weight or earning a promotion at work. Others may be motivated by prospects or receiving recognition or praise from others. Still, others may find motivation in simply doing something they enjoy. There are two main types of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation comes within yourself. It's the desire to do something because it's personally rewarding or interesting, not because of external rewards or pressure. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, comes from external factors such as money, prizes, or approval from others. Understanding which type of motivation is important to you can help you set goals that are more likely to succeed. For example, if intrinsic motivation is more important to you, setting goals to earn a certain amount of money may not be as effective as setting goals to learn a new skill or improve your fitness. On the other hand, if extrinsic motivation is important to you, 
Setting a goal that requires cooperation from others may be more successful than setting a goal that you can achieve on your own. Take some time to think about what motivates you and use that information to set goals that are realistic and achievable. Make sure to stick around so you don't miss your ideal work environment. Publix is a quality food retailer that has been providing the best possible shopping experience for over 80 years. Publix always strives to provide their customers with their best possible service and shopping experience, from providing quality products to making sure each store is clean and inviting. Publix's mission is to be the premier quality food retailer in the world, and they're well on their way. At Publix, they believe that shopping should be a pleasure. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Welcome back! Your ideal work environment. A well-designed workspace can have a profound impact on productivity and creativity. An ideal work environment is one in which employees feel comfortable and engaged. The physical space should be well-designed and welcoming with plenty of natural light and plenty of space to move around. The work itself should be interesting and challenging with opportunities for growth and development. And the culture should be supportive and collaborative with a strong focus on teamwork. When all of these factors are in place, employees are more likely to be productive and happy in their work. And when employees are happy, they're more likely to stick around for the long term, which benefits both the company and the individual. A comfortable, well-designed space can help to improve employee morale and increase productivity. In addition, the effective workspace layout can help to reduce stress levels and promote economic health. When designing a workspace, there are a number of factors to consider. The first is the type of work that will be conducted in the space. For example, if the employee will be sitting at the desk for long periods of time, it is important to ensure that the desks are spacious and comfortable. In addition, the lighting should be bright enough to avoid eye strain, but not so bright that it's dazzling. The temperature should be kept in a comfortable level, as too much heat or cold can lead to fatigue or distractions. Of course, designing a workplace is only part of creating an ideal environment. It is also important to consider the culture of the organization and the needs of its employees. For example, some places may need to provide quiet space for concentration while others may need areas of collaboration and brainstorming. By taking these factors into account, businesses can create workspaces that are both functional and enjoyable to work in. There are many factors to consider when looking for a job. But one of the most important is finding an environment that is conducive to your productivity and happiness. Now here's some more things to keep in mind when searching for the perfect work situation. Make sure the hours fit with your schedule. Find a company with values that align with yours. Look for a comfortable workspace where you can be productive. Make sure you have good communication with your boss and coworkers. Be around people who inspire you and make you want to do better. Have a positive attitude towards work and try not to take things too personal. And here's things to consider as well. What type of environment do you work best in? Do you prefer open or closed office space? Do you like to be around people or do you need peace and quiet to focus? Are you a morning person or a night person? Would you rather work from home or go into the office every day? And finally, what type of music do you like listening to while working? Please stay tuned to What Makes You Happy. Many years ago, Walmart went into business with one purpose, to give you everyday prices on the things you need. 
Every day, Walmart celebrates many wonderful years with special rollback prices on hundreds of items throughout their stores. But most especially, Walmart celebrates all the wonderful people who make these many years possible. Walmart celebrates you. Welcome back. What makes you happy? There are many things that can bring happiness and what works for one person may not work for another. However, there are some commonalities that tend to lead to happiness. For example, feeling like you have a sense of control of your life and being able to make choices that affect your life can lead to happiness. Additionally, having strong relationships with others tend to make people happy. This could be the form of a romantic partner, close friends, or family members. Finally, doing something that's meaningful to you can also lead to happiness. This could be a hobby that you're passionate about or a job that you care about. Ultimately, what matters most is finding what works for you and doing what makes you happy. Happiness is a state of mind that comes from within. It's not relying on external factors such as possessions or other people. Instead, it comes from a sense of contentment and fulfillment. Everyone has different things that make them happy. For some, it might be spending time with families and friends, while others might find happiness in their work or hobbies. Whatever the case may be, it's important to find things that bring joy into your life. Happiness is not a destination you can reach. It's a journey that you take every day. By filling your life with positive experiences, you can find true happiness. Thank you for listening to Finding Motivation to Work. I appreciate your time and I hope that you found the information helpful. In today's competitive market, it's more important than ever to find ways to improve your performance at work. By taking the initiative to learn new skills and develop your abilities, you can make yourself a highly sought-after employee who is beneficial to work with. With a little effort, you can transform yourself into the kind of employee that any organization would be glad to have on their team. Thanks again for listening, and best of luck in your career.